and a recent discussion, Adrian Orr, the governor of the Reserve Bank of New Zealand, shared his perspective on the role of Bitcoin and other digital currencies in the current financial ecosystem. And during a parliamentary committee meeting, Orr expressed skepticism regarding Bitcoin's capacity to function as a viable alternative or supplement to traditional fiat currencies, or his critique extended beyond DTC to include stable coins, which he labeled as one of the biggest misnomers in the financial industry. Uh, the governor of the Reserve Bank of New Zealand argued that the stability of these digital currencies is contingent upon the financial health of the entities backing them, suggesting that their perceived stability might be misleading. The RBNZ governor noted that stable coins are not stable. They're only as good as the balance sheet of the person offering that stable coin. And the RBNZ governor's comments uh, reflect broader concerns within central banking circles about the rise of independent digital currencies or pointed out the discrepancies between the advertised benefits of crypto and their actual functionality. Um, uh, the RBNZ governor further emphasized that fiat currencies backed by legislative power and managed by credible institutions like independent central banks are essential for maintaining low and stable inflation uh, rates. Uh, meanwhile, despite or skepticism, the global trajectory of BTC and other crypto tells a different story. Uh, Bitcoin, for instance, has demonstrated significant growth, cementing its position as a major asset class. Uh, recent reports indicate that BTC has become the 10th largest asset globally uh, by market capitalization outperforming industry giants such as Berkshire Hathaway, uh, Tesla, uh, and uh, J.P. Morgan. Uh, this achievement underscores the growing acceptance and integration of Bitcoin into the broader financial landscape, despite the reservations expressed by some central bankers. It is also worth noting that this development coincides with Bitcoin approaching a $1 trillion market cap milestone currently standing at over $940 billion, trading at $48,979 at the time of writing. The asset has experienced an approximate 11% increase over the past week. Then, amid the RBNZ governor's skepticism, analysts and crypto enthusiasts continue to forecast a bright future for Bitcoin. Fred Krueger, a notable crypto analyst, predicts that Bitcoin's value could soar to $10 million within the next two decades. Uh, we've got a post on adoption and why ultimately uh, we are headed to 10 millimeter plus in Bitcoin price over the next 10, 20 years. Uh, and in 2019, Tom Lee asked how many people really own crypto. Uh, and he's got, um, uh, uh, his answer at the time, 500K. Uh, what one way he, he uh, estimated this is crypto Twitter, uh, Fred Krueger, at Dot Krueger, February 11th, 2024. Uh, similarly, Kyung Ju, CEO of CryptoQuant, suggests a potential 160% increase in Bitcoin's price, uh, projecting figures that could reach $112,000 or at least maintain a low of 55,000 points. Uh, within the current year, uh, these optimistic projections contrast with the conservative stance of central banks illustrating the diverse opinions surrounding Bitcoin's future. Uh, Bitcoin could reach 112K this, this year driven by ETF inflows, worst case 55K, uh, and they're to send safely to people. And that's going to be seven and rebebel and understand which would be uh, Erdin 157367